Hey guys, it's Louise and this is the third video tutorial to do with Adobe Bridge and Photoshop. Um, one thing I was asked to show by a classmate is how you actually get Adobe Bridge to import your photos from your camera. And also how to automatically put on a metadata template which we covered in the last tutorial. So, obviously we go down and we open up Adobe Bridge. Um, this is just open the last bunch of files I was at for the tutorial. So what we can do is with either your SD card inserted to the computer or your camera hooked up through its USB cable, we go here to the file menu in Bridge and just simply get photos from camera. It comes up, it automatically should find your camera from this drop down menu, so mine is the Nikon D90. It tells you how many files there are there in total, this is just a couple that were rattled off today on a coach trip. It gives you the shot date. Down here we have the import settings. This is something you should pay attention to because if you don't, you're not going to know where your pictures are. So you can tell it where to save to. So you just hit choose or else it will dump it into a random folder. And you just go through to your main image folder. And if need be, make a new folder. Everything for tutorials is called random. You just select it, hit choose, and it is now putting your images into this folder. As you can see here, it's got subfolder. This is another little option here. You can create a subfolder either by a custom name, let's you enter my custom name, by today's date or shot date in various formats. I prefer to do none to this. You can also select to rename your files by either today's date, shot date, custom name. Again, if you select that, it lets you put in your custom name. And then you can also put a number into it as well. Or you can do custom name and shot date and same as some folder name. I tend to not rename files just purely because of the way my workflow is. This preserve current file names in XMP, I never usually select that. Um, you can also convert to DNG files. DNG files are essentially, if you use Camera Raw, DNG are just a slightly compressed version of a raw file, except it's more universally accepted through various applications. It is literally a digital negative. Um, there are, it opens up in Adobe Camera Raw. It does have less retouching options though. The settings menu, you just have various different things here to do with DNG files. I never use them unless I'm on college computers, which never have the Nikon NEF codec. You can also select here to save various copies to another subfolder. Now, this is the basic overview, which a lot of people, in all honesty, tend to go for. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. However, you will notice this button down here, Advanced Dialog. This is the window I'm used to. Again, your get photos from is your camera make here. It comes up with thumbnails, or it would if mine weren't all in raw. Um, comes up with the thumbnails of your images. For those of you shooting in JPEG, you will actually see proper thumbnails. Um, again, tells you the amount of uh, uh, files that are selected, total size, date shot. Um, these buttons here literally do what they say on the tin. You can use them to check or unselect all of them. Each one you select are the images that are going to be imported from your camera. Down here we essentially have the same menu as what was on the standard default page that we were just on. Again, this is your folder. I've chose random, so that's fine. No subfolder, don't rename files, don't preserve current file name. Down here, this is the bit I mentioned in the last tutorial when I said you could automatically import your metadata template. This is where it comes into play. Saves you being all finicky about it and having to do it later and search for your files. Basically what we do here is remember we made that one called random. All you do is you select it to use that template. Now because that already had copyright data written in for it, um, it's automatically done the copyright and everything for us. So all you do, once you've checked however many it is you want, you've told it where to go, all you do is just simply get photos and then this little completion window pops up, tells you how many it's gone. You can stop it at any point. 
which will cancel it. Um, and once the files are imported, it will automatically open them up into Adobe Bridge, which is what we told it to do. And if you right click and go to File Info, you will see or should have seen that the metadata was there. I must have unchecked it by accident. Um, but yeah, if you keep the apply metadata template ticked and you select the right one, then it will automatically add all your metadata. So um, the other way of importing images, if we just close Adobe Bridge, is on Macs and you get the same on PC, is this little thing here that I've got a shortcut to on the dock menu. It's called image capture. So if we just open this up, you can see automatically it's got my scanner attached to it. This will essentially bring up shortcuts to any device whatsoever or any mass storage device that has images to it or that has image capturing possibility to it. Couldn't quite get that out there. So what we have is um, automatically it's come up with my Nikon D90 and it's come up with actual thumbnails for all of my NEF files. Um, down here you can select whether you want to import them to iPhoto, image capture, preview, all the rest of it. I tend to keep it as image capture. Down here this is your drop down for where you want to import them to. You can select other and go through, select where you want them to. And I think it was just up and I got rid of. Um, random. Yeah, you can see they're already in there. So as soon as you hit choose, it's selected all of them saying, right, I'm ready to go. Down here, you can also change the view that you've got. So you can actually see aperture, depth, file size, date, file name, width and height, dimensions for pixels, focal length, shutter speeds. And you can also change your thumbnail sizes again here. And all you do is hit import all and it will automatically open up in Adobe Bridge. So that's how you import photos from your camera or SD card through image capture or through Adobe Bridge and assign a metadata template. So hope that was helpful. I'll speak to you later.